the other night I had a dream that I was a muffler. I woke up feeling exhausted. True story. Hey there, happy Thursday. Looks to be a three time drop and hook Thursday, which is awesome. I'm down here in Fairbush, New York, doing my first drop and hook. Taking this down to Pittston, Pennsylvania, where I will probably drop and hook this. And then I'm supposed to go to another customer in Pittston and drop and hook and head back to Syracuse at some point. So, so far, it's been a pretty good day. Good weather and uh, good miles today. That's awesome. Good deal. That's pretty cool. This guy here is traveling with uh, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> nice. Interstate 84, westbound, right around the 21 mile marker. Came to a stop, sat here for a few minutes, now we're starting to roll again. Gotta love construction when everybody's trying to merge into one lane. Gotta roll. Oh, this is a lot of fun. Good times here. Still on 84 West. Got over to the lane I'm supposed to be in. Coming up to this mess, they said the right lane was open. Get about a half mile up, they say the right lane is closed. Make up my mind. Or you fuckers would just stay home, I could go trucking. Exactly. This is awesome. Just before my exit to get off here from Pittston, and we hit a double lane rolling roadblock. This has been going on for like the last uh, three or four miles here. I spent more time in construction today than I have anywhere else, it seems. It's almost time to take my 30 minute DOT break. Come on, guys, I gotta roll. Let's go. I'm almost there. Okay, so I'm dropping this here in Pittston. And I gotta call and see what's up next. And then, uh, gotta take my 30 minute DOT break because I'm real close to that. Oh, uh, love that. Oh, waste of time, I think it is. But uh, so far it's been a pretty good day. Even though I've got stuck in a lot of uh, construction. But you know, summertime is it's the season for construction, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, at least it's nice out, it's not raining or anything. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm here in uh, Pittston, Pennsylvania. I'm taking my 30 minute DOT waste of time safety break. I'm at this little uh, quick mart here with a subway, just uh, right here on uh, Route 315. Just dropped my trailer here in Pittston and uh, had a little cell phone failure. I had no mobile network on top of the hill, which is odd because I usually have service anywhere I go. I actually had to uh, shut my phone down and uh, restart it, and now it seems to be uh, working fine with the mobile network. So uh, once my break is done, I'm going to have to call and see what uh, trouble I can get into next, you know? So right now I'm just uh, finishing up my break and then uh, getting ready to roll on down the road. Well, it's not pretty, but it's been fixed so it's not sticking out the way it was. Focus. Looks like they uh, bent it back and then uh, put a little bit of a, a brace on there with a couple bolt nuts and bolts. Eh, still got a small dent in it, but at least it's not uh, sticking out like a sore thumb anymore. It's only been over a month since I've been driving it that way. <laughs> but it's somewhat fixed, so I'm happy with it. Ooh, okay, so I am done for today. Already got my load for tomorrow. I got a two-stop delivery going down to the homeland down in Hamilton, New York. And then I got a second delivery in Oneida, New York. And then who knows what's going on after that. It's Friday, so you never know. Pushed just over 500 miles today, which is pretty good. And let's see, what did I work? Let's see, it's 7 now. Yeah, let's just say 13 hours, give or take a few minutes. So it was a decent day. Uh, I thought it was going to be three dropping hooks. I dropped that one trailer in Pittston. 
and I bobtailed over to HQ where I picked up the load I had for today. So technically, it was two dropping hooks. Dropping hooks are good. They definitely beat uh, sitting around waiting to get loaded or unloaded. But uh, I'm going to go home, get something to eat, take a nap, and come back and uh, make my deliveries for tomorrow, which I'm going to be late for because I can't start until 20 after 5. And my first delivery is at 5 a.m. And it takes roughly... 45 minutes to an hour to get there from here probably close to an hour with the truck so it is what it is they're aware of it and I'm sure they'll call down there and give them some story like I don't know my flux capacitor isn't fluxing properly or something or and I'll find out in the morning but uh thank you all for watching I'll talk to y'all later y'all have a good day eh?